NASCAR has come to a fork in the road. Despite the sport's most popular driver winning NASCAR's biggest race and the sport's improved level of competition, television ratings are in the tank. Crane Chicago business reporter Danny Eckert takes a look at how NASCAR is trying to win fans and the challenges of trying to build a base in new markets such as Chicago. Three years after NASCAR moved its opening race in the chase for the Sprint Cup to Chicago in hopes of growing its fan base in the nation's third largest market, Chicagoland Speedway is still pounding the pavement to make an impression on local fans. While the share of Chicagoans who say they are interested in the sport has dropped to 18 percent from 26 percent in 2008, according to Nielsen Scarborough, a slightly steeper decrease in the national trend, track president Scott Paddock says he's seeing signs of progress. We've sold out of all of our premium hospitality opportunities for the first time ever. Uh, we're up year over year coming off of a rain plagued event, so I look at that as affirmation that we are doing the right thing. Attendance at this year's Chicago Sprint Cup Series event, the venue's most prominent race, jumped by 5% year over year, according to Paddock, who declines to disclose exact ticket sales numbers. It's a welcome sign for a track whose ticket revenue from the Chase event has been marred by rain two of the past three years. One centerpiece of NASCAR's strategy to grow interest in the sport has been trying to stay on casual sports fans' radar with things like this Chase Grid Live event downtown. It's a tactic Paddock uses to try to garner sports media attention to help amplify his message to new fans and sponsors. Chicago is a very competitive sports and entertainment market, but it's one that also affords you tremendous resources and opportunities, access to Fortune 500 companies, access to a plethora of media outlets, and if you're willing to be innovative, creative, a bit disruptive, and roll up your sleeves and go to work, you can make an impact, and we're seeing that impact over the last three years. Paddock chucks up the decline in NASCAR interest over the past half decade to the advent of the Car of Tomorrow, the sports safety conscious car whose boxy design and poor aerodynamics has made it more difficult for cars to pass each other. Both he and NASCAR executives are counting on the newest model of the car helping to improve the action as well as the new format of the sports playoffs called the Chase Grid, a more understandable bracket style concept that it hopes will help new fans get hooked. We've simplified the process, uh, we've made it easier for those casual fans to understand and it's as simple as that uh, and that's only going to continue to grow in terms of growing interest in the sport. Another move to drum up interest at the Joliet track is adding more non-motorsports events to its current slate of 130 days of activity per year. Things like endurance races, music festivals and corporate gatherings. This December, it's planning a 35-day Winter Lights Festival with an eye on giving first-time visitors a taste of what the track has to offer and hoping they'll come back again. You know, when you've got a, you know, 1,300 acres of real estate, lush green acreage, located at the epicenter of major highways and arteries, you've got to leverage that opportunity, and that's what we're trying to do. Our thanks to Crane's Danny Ecker for that story.